Hello all, welcome. In this session, we'll discuss about the foundations of auto, foundations of cloud. Let's get into outline. We'll try to understand what is cloud computing, cloud offerings, cloud deployment models, as well as what are the products which Oracle is providing in the cloud area and different set of cloud players in the market. Cloud computing is nothing but usage of resources available over the internet. It can be an infrastructure, it can be a software services, it can be an application, right? So cloud computing a theory was there in the, in the, in the IT trends from past 15 years, but now you're, you're seeing the real cloud products in the market and customers are betting heavily and the providers are betting heavily on the cloud usages and you know even customers are choosing or uh, choosing different set of cloud services based on their requirement as most of services are getting digitized and usage of services are becoming necessary these days for every customer so uh, understanding cloud computing is nothing but usage of particular services over the internet okay and the services can be an application it can be a platform it can be infrastructure and it, it can be used across different set of products it can be desktop using desktop you can access a particular tool using laptop you can access it, access it you can using phones or tablets you can use the services which are provided which are provided by the cloud providers coming to the major important features of cloud is cloud deployment model i mean to say like a, what are the, what do you mean by deployment and what are the different set of models we have so this is predominantly important for the infrastructure one so if you want to use a particular infrastructure right so the infrastructure can be at the client location or the provider location that is a major understanding this is a major difference i can say now let us say you want to use a particular cloud infrastructure and you want to make sure that it is used only by you then it becomes a private right let us say you are leasing to you you just you want to have a lease of, of a particular hardware service with a provider for a particular duration and you want to make sure that that particular hardware machine should not be used by any other customer then it becomes a provider and the hardware can be at your location or it can be service provider location that's the difference between on premise or off premises coming to the community cloud nothing but a set of group of organizations nothing but let us say assume that you are a, you are a research uh, you want to work on a particular research and make sure that this particular services this particular server should be accessible by only the community of only uh, that particular group then it becomes a community cloud it's more or less private cloud but the difference is in the community cloud there will be a number of a number of a number of members in that particular community that's the only difference other one is public cloud so public cloud is nothing but a hardware machine the resources are shared by a different set of consumers or customers i mean to say it's not about the data data obviously will not be shared with anyone but the hardware resources of a particular machine will be shared with a different set of customer customers and public cloud generally used for the researchers and as well as when when there is no sensitive data usage in that hybrid cloud is a combination of private and as well as public so it depends upon again the requirement and you know like um, what they do is most of the consumers or customers like uh, for for you know like uh, for set of data which is not that much important or you know like uh, if they want to have the involvement of the provider as well as involvement of their own resources then gen they generally prefer to use hybrid cloud the other coming to the other important information of a cloud is cloud offering so what do you mean by offering right so uh, so far we have discussed about the cloud deployment model which is of mostly of the infrastructure related information the other offerings of a cloud generally are there are total three offerings IaaS we already discussed nothing but infrastructure related information infrastructure as a service they provide cpus ram these are all things based on a service based model right infrastructure services other one is platform services platform as a service what platform you mean to see simple example is let us say you want to use a database services database service database as a service or application as a service or a, a particular server as a service i mean to say like a runtime environment you know like if you're working on uh, adf you require a weblogic server and you don't want to install weblogic server in your local machine but what you want to do is you want to use a service which is provided by the cloud provider what you can do is you can subscribe to oracle jcs and you can deploy your adf application there or other thing is like oracle database right oracle database is a service it doesn't need to install anything oracle will maintain the service oracle will maintain the database on their own particular machine and you just need to subscribe it 
subscribe to it according to your requirement right? so that's a platform as a service other one is software as a service so what do you mean by software as a service nothing but the provider is providing a software application as a service the major difference between a platform as well as software as a service is see the platform they provide the tools right it can be you know like a database it can be a runtime environment like a web logic server or in you know, apache server or maybe you know like a redshift or a mysql server these are all platforms which are provided coming to software as a service they provide a end user usable application it can be oracle cloud erp netsuite salesforce crm gmail office 365 these are different set of software as a service from different vendors and frequently used services in oracle cloud erp projects so like uh, we know that like cloud erp is predominantly in the market used from past 5 years of course it has been releasing lot number of version and generally oracle releases three versions every i mean to say like a patches three patches in every year and now the current release is 19b so any customer who use generally uses oracle saas they may they just they like a usage usage of saas is not enough they have to use lot number of other particular uh, products so when any any cloud customer who chooses generally oracle cloud erp they also choose mostly it is not necessary they have to choose but generally as per my experience as per the current market environment what they mostly choose is oracle java cloud services as well as oic oracle integration cloud services or i can say it is a ics either way like the, the naming has been changing frequently and other important one is visual based cloud visual builder cloud services it has been uh, it is one of the way, very important tool from the oracle oracle it's a browser based application development tool which pro, using which you can design an application it is similar to apex but little bit different not exactly same as apex but a little bit different in this you have a good amount of ui which is based on oracle jet and it provides a good amount of rest web, web uh, rest web services and also it provides a good integration with oracle cloud erp that is a other feature of the oracle vbcs okay so these are the different set of products which are there in the market which are which are used for oracle cloud erp specific related projects and if you want to find out what are the list of saas products which are available in the from the oracle what you can do is you can navigate to cloud.oracle.com website and you can just click on application saas and you can see that there are three important things which are from oracle on the saas area one is erp products epm products as well as cx products cloud experience or customer experience sorry customer experience products of course the iot also is part of this particular saas product coming to pass products like as i said you database application development and integration these are the major important services from oracle pass products of course you have a business analytics other things also there in this finally ias infrastructure as a service like uh, which provides a particular hardware on the usage model right different set of cloud players in the market there are large number of players in the market and day by day there it has been increasing but top players in the market are amazon microsoft google and of course oracle oracle is famous in a different area that is the reason if you observe right oracle name is not there in this one oracle is generally famous for the erp stuff and this particular one these particular vendors are having services in different areas also like uh, amazon is very much famous for ia service microsoft azure is very much famous for their erp like uh, enterprise application not just erp enterprise application like uh, office 365 bizstock there are lot number of like uh, email right there are different set of uh, products from microsoft similarly google cloud they don't have like enterprise application but their uh, mtc they don't have erp application but their services are very very much different like uh, gmail google docs and there are like a different set of runtime environments which, which google cloud provides okay these are the different set of cloud players in the market and coming to the saas players and which are specifically erp so when you say saas it doesn't mean erp always okay because software as a service can be any application it can be an erp application or it can be just a simple application like office 365 or gmail also right so from oracle or specifically from oracle the saas products from oracle erp is oracle fusion erp nothing but cloud we call it as oracle fusion cloud other one is oracle netsuite these are the two erp products from oracle which are in the cloud and different from different set of vendors like a salesforce crm is one of the number one world number one crm and workday hrms it is famous for hrms right and sap it is famous for you know like a manufacturing one right success factors for hrms chronos for you know like gl stuff so each there are lot number of vendors are there in the market and you know like i just listed only few okay and 
navigate to cloud.oracle.com and just find out what are the products which oracle is providing in the cloud area okay this high level sample high level information of the cloud computing model thanks